what's good y'all it's your boy ross back at again with another video so you guys have been blowing me up on instagram and twitter uh when we were live streaming on youtube yesterday you guys were letting it be known that logan paul has apparently signed a contract deal with wwe so we're gonna check this out i'm gonna give my thoughts and opinions on the whole situation after we read this article by wrestlinginc.com let's get right into this one man backstage notes on logan paul signing with wwe logan paul's wwe contract is a multi-year deal deal entailing him to compete at multiple events per year according to journalist ariel halani there we go as per the deal paul will wrestle at an undisclosed number of premium live events across 2022 and 2023 starting with his rumored match against the miz at the july 30th SummerSlam in nashville tennessee halani uh, added paul is likely to make a tv appearance prior to his SummerSlam match but no return date for the youtube star turned boxer has been set just yet earlier on wednesday paul revealed via social media that he visited the wwe headquarters in stanford connecticut to meet with interim wwe ceo and chairwoman stephanie mcmahon and wwe executive vice president of global talent strategy and developmental uh, development paul levesque aka triple h after putting pen to paper on new on a, on a new contract paul would issue a warning to the miz his former tag team partner as seen in a photo above and as you see on the photo above coming for you at the Miz. so he he, he coming for the smoke paul uh, logan paul said we not done um paul wrote coming for you at the Miz on the back of his contract and held it up for the cameras a little later wwe will release a video with uh with comments from the new wwe signee so i just signed my wwe contract with the support of triple h and stephanie mcmahon paul announced this is a massive deal but let's get one thing straight because i don't want to get this twisted i did not sign this contract to team up with the miz in fact i want nothing to do with the miz that man is dead to me he is my enemy and i signed this contract so i can so i can beat the miz as at SummerSlam. okay let's go he talking his talk man um triple h also tweeted i think it's safe to say at logan paul shocked the world with his abilities as a guest at wrestlemania just imagine what he'll do as a wwe superstar congratulations stephanie also tweeted welcome to the dance at logan paul excited to have you uh as a part of the wwe universe and even the miz put the little you know thinking emoji really at logan paul so um be interested in how that play out after working several programs with the likes of Sami Zayn, Kevin Owens, and Happy Corbin in 2021, Paul returned to WWE earlier this year to replace John Morrison as the Miz's new tag team partner. Paul and the Miz would go on to defeat Rey Mysterio and Dominic at WrestleMania 38, but the Miz would betray his partner with a skull-crushing finale. After the match, the Miz cut a promo on this week's WWE Raw, where he seemed to gloss over his betrayal of Logan Paul, declaring his intentions to pursue the undisputed WWE tag team titles alongside Paul. The angle was seemingly done to set up a huge Miz versus Paul SummerSlam match, man. And that's that's what's happening right here, man. So uh, let me dive into this. I'm going to give Logan Paul credit. I, I can't just outwardly be like, nah, screw Logan Paul because of his past antics. I will say this, and I think a lot of us can agree, his showing at WrestleMania this year was really really good i'm not even gonna lie to you it was fantastic you can tell he practiced he trained and he was he was killing it and he was doing really good with the wrestling psychology on being a really good heel like that was really impressive that was really really impressive i was thinking that match was just going to be boring as hell but that was one of the, the the better matches of night one. That that match was really entertaining. It had no right to being that entertaining, but it was. So I can give credit where credit is due. He showed out at WrestleMania. He was the star of that match. 
him doing the 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 Eddie Guerrero pose, the the three amigos, like he healed it up so great, and he showed out. I I can't. All I can do is show respect to someone that came in there. He didn't come in there as a guest and you know BS in the match. He he pulled a bad bunny in my opinion. Bad bunny, loved him some wrestling. He came out there. He showed. You could tell he had respect for the wrestling business, and he he killed it. He killed it at the previous uh, Res uh WrestleMania. He killed it, and the same thing here with Logan Paul. Killed it. So the fact that he has a contract, that is quite surprising, and it will be really interesting to see what they do with him after this this Miz uh, feud that they're setting up. Am I surprised? I don't think I am. I, I think some people are, but me personally, I don't think I'm surprised because you can tell he was having fun. He was having so much fun, and he actually looked good in what he was doing, and I believe there were some photos of him still training. So you only train unless you, you don't train for something like being trying to be a wrestler unless it's something that you really want to get into. So he's still been training. So this has probably been in the works, the in the, in the conversation, and a lot of the even like the legends and and people in the in the wrestling community, majority of us gave Logan Paul great praise because he looked good out there. He had the psychology. He has that down pat. He has the psychology down pat, and he has like like his movement in the ring does not seem like foreign it seems like he could actually go in the ring with a little bit more training maybe he has to work on his promos just a little bit more but i think he'll be fine on that front but other than that man this was great this was absolutely fantastic uh well his match was absolutely fantastic let me put that out there and wwe signing him i can't get mad I'm, I, I'm not going to get mad at that. I'm not going to be one of those guys that just ride the hate train because it's, he's one of the Paul brothers. I, I can't. He's making his money, and as long as he continues to show respect for wrestlers, which I, I think he does have respect for the wrestling business, um, and if he's able to continue to improve, I'm all for it. I'm all for it. I, I, I That's just me personally. What he showed me at WrestleMania, which is a very big stage to live up to, what he showed, it shows like he showed me that he, you know, saying this is something that he's, you know, enjoying and and hopefully want to continue to do because that didn't seem like it was going to be his last match in WWE. The way they set it up, the way he, you know, the way things ended. And now he actually has a contract. He's going to have a few dates. So we're going to see how things play out we will see how things go in the future you know what I'm saying will he be able to continue to hone his skills will he be able to hold build up towards a feud so what's really going to be telling is what he does with the Miz 101 at SummerSlam that's going to really be the true testament and of course this build up that's going to be the true testament because the Miz can go on the microphone the Miz is not going to be anybody that's going to be. She, he, he's rare to get shown up on the microphone. So Logan is going to have to come with it on the promos and come off believable in these promos to really hang with the Miz, mic like microphone wise. And then we can see what they do and what he does in a solo capacity wrestling, because that's different when you're doing a tag team situation. You can kind of tag out. Sometimes the partner, your partner can carry the match for a little bit. But one-on-one, -on -one, it will be interesting to see what he does. And it will be interesting to see what his training has, you know, what how his training has uh, come along. So, me, I'm interested. Uh, I, I'm, I'm interested. I'm willing to give this a chance because his first match was very good. So, comment down below. Let me know. Are you guys interested in seeing The Miz versus logan paul at this year's SummerSlam, and are you guys okay with him signing a contract with wwe or do you guys think it should have just been one match and that's it no more let me know down below but i appreciate all the love and support on channel row 2 90k appreciate y'all kicking with me see you on the next one peace